Hello people, in this video we want to look at diagnosis of breech presentation. How do you know that the baby or the fetus inside is breech? That it is trying to come out with its buttocks first, right? Uh, or uh, or its legs, so or its knees, right? So it is something other than normal. So it is a breech presentation. How do you know it is coming out like this? What are the diagnosis? This is more of a medical uh, thing. So you have clinically, how will you find out? And sonography, ultrasonography obviously will give you a clear picture that it is coming out with its buttocks first breech presentation. Okay, so let us look at the table here. How will you know clinically that the baby is coming out first? I'm sorry, <laughs> the buttocks are coming out first. Okay, first let us understand the complete breech. What do you say guys? So this is complete breech. That is where there is a flexion, right? So it is flexed breech. So all the joints would be in flexion. See, hip flexion, knee flexion, everything is flexion. So this is a flexion. So this is a flexed breech or a complete breech, right? This is normally, uh, the same thing has to be the reverse way. Like baby has to be like this, but in flexion, right? So this is completely flexed, but it is breech. It's like, you understood, right? So this is, uh, how do you diagnose that the baby is in this position? So when you do the fundal grip, what will you feel? This is the fundal grip. You will feel the head, obviously. And head is balotable. Balotable means it kind of bounces back and forth, kind of a structure, right? And uh, how will the head be? Hard, globular. Lateral grip, grip. What will you feel? Lateral grip. Fetal back, very good. You will feel the fetal back, right? Fetal back is to one side. And on the other side, you will get the irregular limbs. Very good. Then what will you uh, understand in the pelvic grip here? At the pelvic grip, you will you will feel the breach, right? Soft, broad, irregular mass. And this will not be engaged. Usually, it will not be engaged during pregnancy. Baby is happy, not engaged, okay? Breach. Then FS, FHS, where you will you feel the fetal heart sound somewhere here. So, you should be, it will be located higher level around the umbilicus. Whose umbilicus? I am guessing it is maternal. Okay. Then, Coming to frank breach. So, let's move on to frank breach, guys. Um, so, are you understanding that we are trying to understand whether the baby is breech or not? We are doing diagnosis. Okay. Now, let's finish off um, uh, frank breach. Yeah. Frank breach is this photo where you can see the legs are extended. Correct, right? The legs are extended. This is frank breach. So, this will usually be in primary gravida because the abdominal wall will be uh, very tight and the uterus also will not will have a very good tone. So, the baby will have not have that much um, space, I'm thinking. That's why it's like that. Okay. So, what will you feel at the fundal grip? Here, head. Very good. You may feel irregular small parts of the feet because here you can see the legs are also on top, right? So, you may also feel the feet by the side of the head. Head is non balotable due to splinting action of the legs on the trunk. So, the head will be non balotable It cannot be bouncing because the legs are there, right? The legs are also there on top. It's not just the head. In Frank Breach, head and leg, uh, feet are both on top, okay? Then, it's kissing its legs, I feel, right? Is it kissing its legs, feet? It's kissing its feet. Irregular parts, okay, now let's come to lateral grip, lateral grip, one lateral grip here, one lateral grip here. What will you feel on this side? Irregular parts, right? You will feel irregular parts. Then, coming to pelvic grip, pelvic grip, what will you feel? Breach. This is actually, you will feel like a conical mask, mask, mass, a small hard conical mass and this can actually be engaged, okay? This breach can actually be engaged. I feel like here it's more like a head, right? So it's going and sitting there, looks like it's, it can be engaged. Then FHS, fetal heart sounds. Where will you feel the fetal heart sounds? Exactly in the same place as this guy, I think. What do you think? Located at a lower level in the midline due to early engagement of the breach. Okay, I understand. Because they, they are saying this can get engaged, then the heart sounds you may hear at a lower level. Because this can get engaged. Right? Unlike the other breach. So, frank breach can get engaged. So, what will happen? The heart sounds will be at a lower level and in the midline. Right? Due to early engagement of the breach. So, did you understand guys? So, what are we looking at? We are looking at the clinical diagnosis of breach. Okay. Next, let's continue here. Per vagina, if you do an examination, what will you feel? Can you tell me what you feel in this 
complete breach flexed breach what do you feel here you are putting your hand here per vagina and you are going to feel it during pregnancy not during labor you will feel what soft irregular parts very good during labor what will you feel you can feel this ischial tuberosity sacrum you can feel the feet you see you can feel the feet on both sides of the buttocks the foot left uh, foot felt is identified by the prominence of the heel and lesser mobility of the grade 2 so how will you know it's a foot there will be prominence of the heel and lesser mobility of the grade 2 grade 2 will have less mobility lesser mobility okay there is some mobility of the grade 2 guys we are reading word to word of the textbook so now let us move on to the frank breach okay let's put this baby back and bring the frank breach guy here frank breach guy in pregnancy you will put your hand here per vagina you are checking what will you feel you will feel the sacrum in the pregnancy and then you will think that it's the head okay you will feel the sacrum and you will think that it's head okay during labor it will come out now that time what will you feel yes you will feel the ischial tuberosities anal opening there will be an anal opening here which you can feel and sacrum okay good so that is what is about the two breach how will you know Guys, now uh, we have finished the in uh, what we are trying to look at. First of all, diagnosis of of what of breach presentation. In that we have finished the clinical. In that we have looked at two things. One was the complete breach, and other was the frank breach. Uh, we looked at uh, uh, fundal grip and all that, and then we also looked at per vaginal examination. Then now we are coming to ultrasonography, USG, okay, scan. In scan, what and all you can know. Come on, scan. What will you know? shape itself will tell you that the baby is like this right so you can confirm the clinical diagnosis if the clinical diagnosis has been made you can confirm whether it is a breach presentation right then fetal congenital anomaly and all you can check in ultrasound obviously the type of breach you can know this is nice you can know the type of breach whether it's complete or incomplete which anyways even clinically you are able to see isn't it that's what we saw in that table that you can know difference between complete and the frank one then So I'm going to remove this. This anyways you can know um, congenital abnormality or anyways you can know in ultrasound. Then biparietal mesh um, um, diameter you can measure gestational age. You can know estimated weight of the fetus. Obviously all ultrasounds nothing special with breach. You can also localize the placenta which you can do in all pregnancies. Assessment of liquor volume yes okay. This is important because if you want to do an external cephalic version right, you can turn the baby yourself. externally then you need to know the amount of like a volume right then that anyways even otherwise they will estimate in an ultrasound attitude of the head flexion or hyper extension is important right um, then pelvic capacity every ultrasound irrespective of whether it's breech or not you will assess the pelvic capacity isn't it then That's it, guys. What they are telling here about ultrasound is you'll confirm the clinical diagnosis. Everything else sounds like you will do it with any other pregnancy, okay? Whether it's breech or not. Then there is an X-ray photo here. For whatever reason, they exposed this lady for radiation. Look at this. Very clearly, I can make out the baby's spine here. And to me, this looks like a spine in which this is the sacrum. So this is the head. So here you can see the head, right? So this is a straight X-ray abdomen of the lady, which is not done these days. They have written here, not done these days on a pregnant woman, isn't it? Showing a single fetus with breech presentation. The legs are extended. If the legs are extended, what does it mean? It's a frank breech. Okay. Then uh, here they are saying that uh, the positions that are possible in a breech presentation. So breech presentation means. Uh, here you can understand that the sacrum, the sacrum will be the denominator of the breach, the bony prominence, isn't it? Uh, this will have some positions. Either it can be anterior or posterior. So if it is uh, anterior, okay, left sacro anterior is the most common. So if left sacro anterior, something like this, can we say left sacro? And it will be front. Left sacro anterior is the most common. Okay, and there are other things like uh, right sacro anterior, right sacro posterior, and left sacro posterior. So, anyways, the, the most common you have to remember is LSA left sacro anterior. This and all you can know. In the clinical examination, you have to check this. Then only you will know how to do mechanism of labor. 
Let's continue with the mechanism of labor in the next video. Bye-bye.